morning, Jetty Rockers. Welcome back to Jetty Rocks. I'm out here this morning with my buddy Mark. We got the boat loaded with some blue crab traps. So we're gonna go set these out. We're gonna rebate the stone crab traps. Plus we got 50 live shrimp. We're gonna do, maybe do a little bit of fishing. We never know what's gonna happen today. But the main goal first is go get these traps set out. Wish us luck, y'all. Everything baited. Got most of these baited with mango snapper carcasses. We got all kinds of bait in here today for blue crab traps and the stone crab traps. So we're gonna go set these out and we'll start baiting the stone crab traps. All right, guys, well, it's the next morning. Mark and I are back out here. We're gonna check the blue crab traps. And after we're done checking the traps, guys, we got some sad news. I'll tell you about that here in a little bit. We get to watch it after the we pull these traps. Well, we're saying goodbye to a family member, y'all. Saying goodbye. Yeah, yesterday I didn't film us putting the traps out, just us baiting them. Just something different. Because we did we did a lot of work yesterday. We put out all the blue crab traps and we rebaited and reset all the stone crab traps. Alrighty, first trap of the morning. See what the verdict is there son oh we got blue crab all right we do have a nice blue crab we'll take him shake him yeah shake him out that's a nice blue crab it's a good one. Oh, oh sorry there he goes all right lock it back up and we'll just drop it right here should be deep enough hold on all right trap number two See what we got here. What we got here. Oh, I don't think we got anything in that one. Nope, nope nothing in that one. All right. Well, we're not doing that great so far. Two traps, one blue crab. Three traps to go. Hope it gets better. All right. Trap number three. See what we got here. Come on, be better, be better, be better. Be at least one in there. Ah, uh, I see something in there. Nope, just a shell. All righty, well. All right, trap number four. I'm very discouraged at this point. But you never know, one trap can turn everything around. Let's see what we got here. One crab in there, I think. Oh, there's two. Uh, one, just one. He was he killed the other one. Wow, that's a big crab, though. That is a big crab. Good sized crabs, just not. Uh, he killed that one. Man, he killed him. That big bruiser killed him and ate him. He's got plenty to eat, and still killed him and ate him. We got a whelk. You see those all the time. 
All right, come here, crab. Okay. Get out. There you go. Well, can't complain about the size. That is for sure. It was nice size crabs. All right, last trap. Not doing the best. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. This is that full trap, huh? Yeah. Nothing. Not a dang thing. Uh, man, that sucks so bad. Well, that wasn't as good as I was hoping it to be. We got two blue crabs out of the deal. Two big ones. But that's it, guys. Just those two big old blue crabs stone crab traps which is stone crab traps are right in here but i'm not going to check them for 10 days we just set them out yesterday so we're gonna go ahead and end this and let you see what happened yesterday y'all sad day for jetty rocks sad day today is a sad day for jetty rocks guys it is bittersweet sad but mud duck has been sold i sold the mud duck guys so i'm out here cleaning it up a little bit because it's been sitting out in the backyard for two weeks underneath an oak tree so it got kind of nasty I'm running the engine for them because it hasn't been ran in two weeks but we got someone to come pick up the mud duck so the mud duck is no more guys we are saying goodbye to the mud duck i gotta say i'm kind of sad about it to be honest with you but have a feeling i'll be back on her again soon because the person who is buying this has been on this channel has been fishing with me many many times is a friend of the channel is part of the channel and that is mr slob fish brad moore he sheeps head fishes with me every year he saw that i got a new boat so he asked me if he can buy this boat i didn't even put it up for sale he contacted me and that tells me that he really wanted it because he knows all the issues with the boat the boat has some issues but he's willing to work on it get it fixed up and do what he needs to do to get this boat right pretty much a brand new trailer though the trailer's only nine months old but that's it guys we sold the mud duck all right guys i'm here with the mud duck's new owner is brad moore you've seen him in my videos so he's got the title in hand it is a done deal and that's it so he promises he's gonna take me fishing in the boat so i'll be in the mud duck again and hopefully we'll make a video oh yeah, yeah. lots of slime lots About of to slime. hit that deck him and i together on some sheep's head it's over it's done <laughs> well we'll be at the jetty in it soon yep <laughs> all right off. guys well i'm gonna uh i'll film him as he's leaving we're gonna hang out for a little bit but a sad day guys sad day good day for him sad day for I'm me i'm stoked i'm excited to get back on the water all right guys here she goes see you later old girl All right, that's it, guys. The mud duck is gone. That's pretty sad, wasn't it, guys? Well, we said goodbye to the mud duck. I had that boat for 11 years, so it's kind of sad to see it go. But it was time for an upgrade. You know, been wanting to get further and offshore. Been wanting to take more people out with me. So this new boat gives us that opportunity. But for all you subscribers that have been with me for a while now, I've seen this channel since the beginning, or been here for a couple years, in the comments section, comment on how, you know, what was your favorite moment with the mud deck, something you guys remember most about it. If you could, just put that in the comments section. It'd be really cool to hear your guys' perspective of it. But 
Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to go out and recheck those crab traps again because I couldn't go out today because of the weather. It's rainy, it's wet. It's calling for like 25 mile an hour winds. Basically like a, a mini tropical storm coming through right now. So I'm not gonna be able to do any crabbing for a couple days, but hopefully I'll get back out there. We'll get to check these traps, see if we got any more stone crab. Real quick guys, I wanna talk about a new partnership I've gotten into. I partnered up with Beyond Braid. They just sent me some, some line to try out. I've been looking very much forward to this because I've been watching videos on this Beyond Braid. I've seen some other people using Beyond Braid. I've been very interested in this line. So they sent me some stuff to try out. So here pretty soon I'll be doing like a, a review video. I'm going to be putting this on most of my reels and trying this line out. But it's some really cool line, guys. They got some really cool colors. They got the American flag color, which that's awesome. They also got this uh, blue camo color, which I'm really looking forward to using. So we're going to be using that here pretty soon. I'm going to have that in a couple videos. And also, once I you know use it for a couple times, I'll put a link in here for you guys so you guys can go check them out for yourself. And you can get some Beyond Braid and check it out and put it on your reels. And from what I can tell, guys, it's some really good line. I like the way it feels. I like the way it handles. And very soon we'll be out here fishing with it. I'll be able to tell you more about it. But I'm looking forward to this, guys. Beyond Braid. All right, so we're finally out here to get the... Uh, blue crab traps i'm just gonna go ahead and pull them because the weather right now is just absolutely terrible i mean we are experiencing a super high tide i don't even know if i'll be able to find them but they might be underwater but i'll show you guys some footage here towards the end of the video of how high the water is up there by the boat ramp it's just unbelievable two days and nothing but high winds lots and lots of rain this boat was absolutely full of water so we're going to go pull these traps real quick, take them home, and we'll come back out maybe another day and bait them. But you never know, we might have something in them, guys. That's why I'm making this little video right here, recording just in case we find something. But I'm not real optimistic, but we'll see, guys. We'll see. You can see how high the water is on these docks here. I mean, it is high. That boat's supposed to be elevated off the water. Is that high that's over the dock and up by the boat. All the way up in their yard. Super high water. Alright. Not seeing my first one, but it can be completely underwater, guys. Let's see if I can't see it underwater here somewhere. It's either underwater or it's been took. We'll see. Yeah, I am not seeing it. Alright, well that one's been... That one's gone. Alrighty. Hopefully it'll turn up. Hopefully it's just underwater. We'll figure that out. But right now I don't see it. Alright, here's where my second one is. we can do it here. I see my third one. Let's see what we got here. Alright, there's this one. I got this one. Like I said, I don't have real high hopes, but you never know. You never know. Oh, I got a big old blue crab in there. Big old blue crab. Oh, but he's dead. Man, what is up with that? Well, I ain't been able to be out here to check them, so. That sucks. I'm not here longer than I like him to be. Here's my next one. Nothing. Well, I've got one in there. 
Oh, that one's alive. Alright. Yeah, we got one. He's doing good. Big crabs in here though, just not a lot of them. One crab, one crab and a conch shell. I don't know, three crabs I have caught back here have been big. Get that out of here. All right, one nice crab. So, so far, one dead crab, one keeper crab, and a lost trap. We're doing good, guys. Oh boy. Alrighty. Next trap. I was hoping the wind was going to get me close to it, but I doubt it. I got it. Yes, sir. Alrighty. See what we got on this one, if anything. But hey, at least we got the trap back. This is the full trap. And it's got nothing at all in it. All right. All righty. Last trap, guys. Last one. Last trap. Come on, wind, pull me in there. Pull me in there, wind. All right. I am not hopeful at all. And nothing. Absolutely not. Alright guys, so I hope you all enjoyed that video. Just a little bit of crabbing. We didn't get much, but the weather around here lately has been terrible. With all that high water, it's no wonder we didn't catch any crabs at all. I mean, a lot of fresh water in the river right now. Water's super, super high. But hey, we tried anyway. And we said goodbye to the mud duck, guys. Kind of sad to see it go, but it was time to make a change and get a newer boat so we can go out and do some other stuff. I had that boat for a long time, but it's going to a good owner. I've known Brad for a while. He's been part of this channel. He's done a lot of fishing with me, so I know he's going to get a lot of good use out of it, and I know he's going to treat it right, and I'll probably be back in it here another day or so, catching some sheep's head out of it, because that's what him and I like to do together every, every winter. We like to do the sheep's head fishing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching it. And thank you so much for being a part of this channel, y'all. I appreciate each and every one of you guys very much. Until we see y'all again, tight lines, Jetty Rockers. And we'll be seeing y'all real soon, y'all. <laughs>